What's going on guys? Super excited for today's video because we got some more parts for Chompers. So let's go ahead and get this thing cranked up down to the basement. Let me show you what I got. All right, so everybody knows and loves the front of Chomper, but y'all been screaming at me saying, do something with a GMC badge, right? Because it's red, it's out of place, and honestly, if you get up close, it's pretty freaking beat up and gross looking. But I haven't done that, well, for one, because I just didn't feel like paying $100 for a new one, and I could have just painted it, honestly. But we're going to be doing away with the badge completely today, and I think I'm going to debadge the tailgate as well in this video while we're at it. Because we're going to be doing a grill replacement, I actually have multiple layers. We're going to see. We're going to see because we got a lot of chrome going on with the headlights, the fog lights, the tow hooks, you know, the bumper, the whole SLT on Chomper. I think it looks great, ties in together with everything, but I don't want to do too much. I think this is going to be, I think it's going to be perfect. So let's go ahead and unbox this. Let me show you what I got. Uh, there we go. All right. So we can't really see much of anything because it's all in bubble wrap, but you know, hey, props to being properly packaged. We went with a billet grill insert. That looks pretty daggum good. That's like, some of these you've got, you can get in and they're like wavy and stuff. That looks perfectly straight. That looks awesome. Obviously we have a couple more because you can actually kind of layer these all the way down we'll see how many we want to use we're going to mock them up and uh, with all of them and see how that looks but i haven't done a billet grill and i don't need i don't even know how long i did one on my 06 f-150 it was a black billet grill and i absolutely loved it i actually trimmed out the whole honeycomb behind it and everything it was super clean looking i loved it but i think it's going to look super good on here and i know they have the ones with the cutout for the gmc and stuff but i think the just complete billet it looks so good this radiator guard off. I honestly don't even know if you got to take the headlights out, but we're going to go ahead and take them out. So now we should just have a bunch of push tabs, right? Hold this thing on. One ten mil pops right. Real painful to do pops. Should be her. All right, so now that the grill is off the truck, we're gonna go ahead and carefully remove the center section of the grill because the last thing you want when you have a billet grill is for the sun to shine on the front and you see your existing grill behind it. It just looks terrible in my opinion. So with that being said, we're gonna cut right here and there's three tabs on the top and the bottom holding it on leaving this little black lip behind for our new billet grill to sit on we'll be able to mount it with the included hardware it's going to sit super flush it's going to look good this is the best way to do it so uh, let's grab the sawzall cut this thing out and then if we need to we'll go back and clean it up some awesome. All right, so now that we got that cut out, this is what it's looking like. We gotta go back and clean up some of these little guys. There's some like melted plastic pieces and stuff, but overall, everything came out pretty smooth. There we go, that looks good. So now we got all of that done, we basically just need to line this up inside of here, mark some holes to drill. That way we can install it with our new hardware. Make sure it goes underneath this guy. Probably gonna have to do a little prime with it to get it to cooperate. So I'm gonna try to, with one of these screws, just 
just reach inside here on the back side and where the bracket is stick this through it and scratch on the plastic so we know where to drill our holes Got off a little bit somehow on this one. I'm not sure how that happened, but it's fine. Let's see if I can lay this down. That seems to line up pretty good just to help hold that. Good, like that. Boom. There it is. Just gotta get this bottom one re-drilled. See exactly where we want it to be as flush as possible. Basically, you're just gonna screw through, and then this is just gonna allow it to tighten on the back side. All right, so y'all see how there's a little bit of play here. Take your little guy, put it on top, and then screw your screw into it, like I'm doing now. It will start to bite, and then just take your finger and push it in to where it's perfectly flush, like this, and then just tighten it down. All right, here she is looking extremely good in my opinion. Obviously, we're gonna have all this black behind it once we install it, so you're not gonna see straight through it. But that looks good. I think that came out pretty much perfect. I mean, like I said, some of these bar grill inserts that you get are wavy and stuff or they don't fit good. So far, it's fitting A1. Let's go ahead and throw it back in the truck and see what it looks like. I think it looks incredible. Obviously, I did not install the other two grills. Comment down below if you think I should, but I think this is the perfect amount. I think the other two would be a little tacky. I don't know. If you have them on your truck, DM me on Instagram. Shoot me a picture so I can see what it looks like. Maybe the ones in the middle. Lauren thinks I should. I'll throw a clip in of her talking about that at the end of this video. But, um, yeah, I think it is perfect, dude. I know a lot of people like the GMC emblem on the front, but I think the complete billet grill just looks so incredibly clean and i don't even know if billet grills are still in style i know they used to be real real popular but i don't give a rip dude that looks so freaking good so that is her i'm loving it i think it looks stupid clean it's a nice difference than the norm because normally you know everybody and their brothers got the just stock grill with the gmc black or you know a different color or something another and this is not like super uncommon, but I don't, I don't even know if I've seen one. I've probably seen a couple in person, but like I said, typically it's the GMC badge, just color matched or something. So a little bit of uniqueness here. I think it looks awesome. The chrome toe hooks, the clears, I mean, it's perfect. You know, obviously we like the chrome on here, but I think it all ties in together. So incredibly clean. I did not get around to debadging the tailgate. I feel like I've been meaning to do that forever. 
Dude, look at this freaking truck. Oh my gosh. Uh, I still haven't done that. I need to do it. I think it's going to look good. I need to get this bird turd off of there too. I don't know how I feel about the sticker either. I haven't had a sticker on a truck in a while and I found that when I was like, okay, sick. I'm going to put that on there because I like, you know, obviously if someone gets behind me in traffic and something and they can look up my YouTube channel, but I don't know if it kind of throws off the whole everything being blacked out. Maybe I just need a sticker on the left side. Maybe it's my OCD that's driving me crazy. I mean, it looks all right like that. I don't know. But yeah, boys, a lot more to come with Chomper. I got some crazy tea to spill as well in the near future. Hopefully I get it resolved so I can talk to y'all about it. But yeah, just me out here walking around, letting people judge me. But that's all good because this is a glorious thing that I get to do. So anyways, that's going to be about it for this video, guys. Hopefully y'all did enjoy. Comment down below. Let me know about the grill, if I should add the other two or leave it as is. And with that being said, I will see y'all in the next video. Trying to tell that lady she's dragging like a whole heap of thing. You had this big plastic thing under your car, but it fell off when you just backed up. It did, yes. No problem. <laughs> oh man, now am I responsible for that? Am I? I don't know. I'm gonna say I'm not. I'm just gonna say I'm not. You don't know what I'm gonna ask you. What do you think of Chopper's new grill? I notice it. So? I like it. It doesn't look any different, I feel like. Oh my, yes, it was black and had three bars before. With a GMC logo in the middle. Daggum, she don't be looking at you, Chopper. Yeesh. Yeah, it comes with grills for the middle of the chrome where those two holes are and underneath that, but I think I'm going to leave that off. Just leave it like that. Think I should add the other ones? I don't know. Yeah, this looks kind of not right. Ah. I, well, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of close to this. No. Go ahead and give, give it a good ponder. Yeah, We're, it looks like you're missing. There's just holes. Yeah. Like We're obviously in the middle of filming a will entire video but yeah since it's our first time seeing it i freaking love it but all right i'm starting to sweat let's go ahead and get rest oh my god it's the... not even that bad i've been i just jacked up two trucks two took two wheels and tires off pulled all these out here <laughs> while you was in the ac so yeah <laughs> uh-huh